This video is about Redis keys. Redis keys commands are used for managing keys in Redis. The syntax for using Redis keys commands is command key name. You have to write a command and then the name of the key. There are so many Redis keys commands available. Let's understand them one by one. First one is del command. Redis del command is used to delete the existing key in Redis. It will return the number of the keys that were removed. Let's see how we can do that. First, we have to open the terminal and type redis hyphen cli. Now, create a key in redis and set some value in it. Set employee mark. Now, delete this key with the help of del command. So, del employee. Now, next command is exist command. Redis exist command is used to check whether the key exists in Redis or not. It will return the integer value 1 if the key exists and 0 if the key does not exist. Now, we check exist salary you can see that salary key does not exist so it returns zero now create a key with the name salary and check for its existence set salary 20000 now check exist salary now it exists you can see it returns one Next one is expire. Redis expire command is used to set the expiry of a key. After the expiry time, the key will not be available in Redis. The key will return the integer value 1 or 0. 1 if timeout is set for the key and 0 if the key does not exist or timeout could not be set. Now let's see. We already created salary. so. Let's set the expiry time for it. Expire salary 30. Now here 30 second time is set for the salary key. After this the key will expire automatically. We have so many other keys as well like expire at p expire and p expire at in which we can set the expiry of the key with different format such as in unix timestamp or in milliseconds etc. Now check the existence of the salary with the help of get command get salary. Now here it gives nil. Next one is keys. Redis keys command is used to search keys with a matching pattern. It will return list of keys with a matching pattern. Now, first create a key in Redis and set some value in it. Set employee 1 John set employee 2 Jack set employee 3 rob now let's search redis with keys starting from the keyword emp keys emp asterisk to get a list of all the keys available in redis use only asterisk like keys asterisk so these are all the available keys here. Next one is move. Redis move command is used to move a key from the currently selected database to the specified destination database. It will return the integer value 1 or 0, 1 if the key is moved and 0 if the key is not moved. First create a key in Redis and set some value in it. Set employee 4 cat in redis by default zero database is selected so now we are moving the generated key in the second database move 
employ for to one so you can see that it will move to another database next one is ttl redis ttl command is used to get the remaining time of the key expiry in seconds it will return the integer value ttl in milliseconds or a negative value minus 1 if key does not have expiry timeout and minus 2 if key does not exist let's set the expiry of the key as 60 seconds expire employ 1 in 60 seconds ttl employ 1 so you can see that 41 seconds are left to expire this key next one is persist redis persist command is used to remove the expiration from the key it will return integer value 1 or 0 it will return 1 if timeout is removed from the key and it will return 0 if the key does not exist or does not have an associated timeout now let's set the expiry of the key expire employ 360 let's check the time to leave that is ttl using ttl command and now let's use persist command to remove the expiry time from the key so persist employ 3 let's check ttl now so expiry time has been removed next one is rename redis rename command is used to change the name of a key it will return a string reply or an error it returns an error if the old key and the new key names are equal or when the key does not exist if the new key already exists then it overrides the existing key let's rename the key rename employ 2 to employ 5 and now let's check employ 2 is available or not get employ 2 you can see that it gives nil now we check for employ 5 get employ 5 now we have the result next one is type redis type command is used to get the data type of the value stored in the key it will return string reply data type of the value stored in the key or none let's check the type of the employee 5 key type employee 5 you can see that it is of string type so this was about keys in Redis. This video is about Redis strings. Redis string commands are used for managing the string values in Redis. The syntax for string commands is command and then key name. There are many commands to manage strings in Redis. Let's understand them one by one. First command is set command. Redis set command is used to set some string value in Redis key. It will return simple string. If the value is set in the key, then it will return OK. And if the value does not set, it will return null. So let's create a key using set command. First, we have to open command prompt and type redis cli. Now create a key set employ. John. Next command is get. Redis get command is used to get the value stored in the specified key. If the key does not exist, then nil is returned. If the returned value is not a string, then error is returned. It will return a simple string that is value 
key or nil so if we want to get this previously created key we need to run get command and the name of the key so get employ so we get the desired key value next one is get range that is get range command is used to get the substrings of the string value stored at the key determined by the offsets start and end both are inclusive negative offsets can be used in order to provide an offset starting from the end of the string the function handles out of range requests by limiting the resulting range to the actual length of the string so let's set a key set employees my name is john and now let's see the work of get range command by providing it a suitable offset value get range employees 0 to 8 let's change the offset value to 4 get range employees 0 to 4 now next one is get set redis get set command sets a specified string value in redis key and returns its old value it will return a simple string that is old value of the key if the key does not exist then nil is returned let's see this command get set salary 50000 so you can see that the salary key does not exist that's why it is given nil now let's run a get set again get set salary 20000 now you can see it is giving us the old value next one is am get that is am get command is used to get the values of all specified keys for every key that does not hold a string value or does not exist the special value nil is returned let's see the work of am get first of all we have to set some keys so set key1 hello set key2 hi and now let's get all the keys using am get command am get key1 key2 and then key3 so you can see that it returns the value of key1 key2 and nil in the place of key3 because it does not exist next one is set ex redis set ex command is used to set some string value with a specified timeout in redis key it will return simple string if the value is set in key and null if the value is not set let's see the work of set ex command set ex employ 1 60 John Now check the remaining expiry time of the key by the help of ttl command ttl employ 1 Here 45 seconds are left for the expiry of the key Next command is set range Ready set range command is used to override a part of a string at the key starting at the specified offset. It will return the length of the string after it was modified by the command. Now let's see this command. First, we have to set the key. Set key three. Hello. Word. Now. Run the set range command for overwrite a part of string. Set range key three check radius. Now let's get the value of key three by the help of get command. Get key three. Here you can see the 
thread is override a string that is world. Next one is str alien command. Thread is str alien command is used to get the length of the string value stored at the key. An error is returned when the key holds a non-string value. Now let's set a key with name key4. Set key4 hello world. Now let's check the string length with strlen command. strlen key4. So it gives the string length. Let's check string length of key5. So it gives 0. Next one is mset. Redis mset command is used to set multiple values to multiple keys. Let's see the work of mset. mset key1 hello key2 1. Now let's see the key 1. Get key 1. Let's see the key 2. Get key 2. So you can see the result. Next one is INCR. Redis INCR command is used to increment the integer value of a key by 1. If the key does not exist, it is set to 0. Before performing the operation, an error is returned if the key contains a value of the wrong type or contains a string that cannot be represented as an integer. This operation is limited to 64-bit signed integers. Let's set a key. Set salary 10,000. Now, let's use increment command incr salary. Here you can see the salary has been incremented by 1. Next one is increment by. Redis increment by command is used to increment the number stored at the key by the specified value. If the key does not exist, it is set to 0 before performing the operation. An error is returned if the key contains a value of the wrong type or contains a string that cannot be represented as an integer. Now, let's see the work of increment by incr by salary 5000. Here, you can see the salary has been incremented by 5000. Same as, we can also use increment by float command. That is increment by float command is used to increment the string representing a floating point number stored at the key by the specified increment. Now, next one is DECR. That is DECR command is used to decrement the integer value of a key by 1. If the key does not exist, it is set to 0 before performing the operation. An error is returned if the key contains a value of the wrong type or contains a string that cannot be represented as an integer. This operation is limited to 64-bit signed integer. Let's see the DECR key. DECR salary. So you can see the salary has been decremented by 1. Next one is DECR by. Redis DECR by command is used to decrement the number stored at the key by the specified value. If the key does not exist, it is set to 0 before performing the operation. An error is returned if the key contains a value of the wrong type or contains a string that cannot be represented as an integer. Let's see the DECR by command. DECR by salary 3000. So, you can see the salary has been decremented by 3000. Next one is append. Redis append command is used to add some value in a key. Let's set a key. Set key 3 hello. And now let's append some value to the existing key. Append key 3 space word. Now 
let's see the key three get key three so you can see the value world has been appended to the key three so this was a strings command in redis this video is about hashes in redis redis hashes are maps between the strings fields and the string values hence they are the perfect data types to represent objects in redis every hash can store up to more than 4 billion fields value pairs let's see an example first we have to open the terminal and type redis hyphen cli let's see hm set technocrats name redis course description redis hashes employees 20 and salary 20,000. Now here we have set Redis course details such as name, description, employees and salary in a hash name technocrats using hmset command. Redis hmset command is used to set the specified fields to their respective values in the hash stored at the key. This command overrides any existing field in the hash. If the key does not exist, a new key holding a hash is created. Now, to get this hash, we have to run hget all command. hget all technocrats. So, you can see the result. Now, let's see some commands related to hash. First one is hdel. Redis hdel command is used to remove specified fields from the hash stored at the key. Specified fields that do not exist within this hash are ignored. If the key does not exist, it is treated as an empty hash and this command returns 0. Let's see an example. Hset technocrats redis course 1. So, in this we are setting a hash name technocrats with fields redis and course1 using hset command. Redis hset command is used to set fields in the hash stored at the key to value. If the key does not exist, a new key holding a hash is created. If the field already exists in the hash, it is overwritten. Now check hdel technocrats redis now the hash is empty let's try to delete a hash field which is not present hdel technocrats redis2 here you can see the result is 0 next one is h exist redis h exist command is used to check whether a hash field exists or not it will return integer 1 if the hash contains a field and if the hash does not contain a field or the key does not exist, it will return 0. Now, let's see an example. At set technocrat redis course 1. So, in this, we are setting a hash named technocrats with fields redis and course 1. Now, let's check the hash is exist or not with the help of h exist. h exist technocrats redis. So, it exists. Let's check the hash which is not exist. h exist technocrats is 2. So, you can see the result is 0. Next one is hget. 
Redis adjust command is used to get the value associated with the field in the hash stored at the key. It will return string the value associated with the field and when the field is not present in the hash or the key does not exist it will return nil. Now let's see an example. We have technocrates hash so let's get the fields using hcat. hcat technocrates redis. Here you can see that the fields within hash technocrates. Next one is hcat all. Redis hcat all command is used to get all the fields and values of the hash stored at the key. In the returned value, every field name is followed by its value. So the length of the reply is twice the size of the hash. We have already shown the hcat all hash previously. It will return list of fields and their values stored in the hash or an empty list when the key does not exist. Next one is h increment by. Redis h increment by command is used to increment the numbers stored at the field in the hash stored at the key by increment. If the key does not exist, the value is set to 0 before the operation is performed. And it will return the value at the field after the increment operation. Let's see an example. First of all, let's set a hash named employed with fields salary 20,000. At set employee salary 20,000. Now let's use h increment by and increase hash value by 500. Now let's use h increment and increase hash value by 500. h increment by employee salary 500. So you can see that the value has been incremented by 500. Same like this, we also have h increment by float, which increments the float value of a hash field by the given amount. Next one is h keys. Redis h keys command is used to get all the field names in the hash stored at the key. Let's see an example. First, let's set a hash with different fields values. H set Techno field 1 employee. Next, H set Techno field 2 salary. And now let's use the H keys command. H keys Techno. Here you can see that we get the result as field 1 and field 2. Next one is hlen. Redis hlen command is used to get the number of the fields contained in the hash stored at the key. So let's run hlen command hlen techno. So the length is 2. Next one is hmcat. Redis hmcat command is used to get the values associated with the specified fields in the hash stored at the key. If the field does not exist in redis hash then a nil value is returned. So let's run hmcat command hmcat techno field1 field2 and field3. Here you can see that we get the values for field 1 and field 2 and we get nil for field 3 since it does not exist. Next one is hvls. Redis hvls command is used to get all the values in the hash stored at the key. It will return list of values in the hash or an empty list when the key does not exist. So let's see hvls command on techno hvls techno so you can see the result and this was about hashes and redis this video is about lists in redis 
Threads list are simply list of strings sorted by insertion order. You can add elements in Threads list in the head or the tail of the list. Maximum length of a list is 232 minus 1 elements that is more than 4 billion of elements per list. Let's see an example of list. First, we have to open the terminal and type Redis hyphen CLI. Now, I'll push employ John. I'll push employ Mark. And next, I'll push employ Peter. So here, three values are inserted in Redis list named employ by the command I'll push. Now let's see the list by I'll range command. I'll range employ 0 to 3. So these are the values in the range of 0 to 3 in employee list. And now again check I'll range employ 0 to 1 and these are the values in the range of 0 to 1 in employee list. Now let's see some commands related to list. First one is blpop. Redis blpop command is used to remove and get the first element in a list or block until one is available. blpop command just return the first element if available or blocks the element for a specific time to execute any command and it returns the value of element stored at the key or nil. Now let's see an example blpop list 1 20. This command will block the client for 20 seconds to execute any command. If any data comes in the specified key list 1 then it returns otherwise after 20 second nil value is returned. So here is a result after 20 second. Next one is brpop. Redis brpop command is used to remove and get the last element in a list or block until one is available. brpop command just returns the last element if available or block the client for a specific time to execute any command. And it returns the value of element stored at the key or nil. Let's see an example brpop list 1 in 20 second. This command will block the client for 20 seconds to execute any command. If any data comes in the specified key list 1 then it returns otherwise after 20 second nil value is returned. Yes after 20 second nil value is returned. Next one is brpop lpush. Redis brpop lpush command is used to pop a value from a list. Push it to another list and return it or block until one is available. brpop lpush command just returns the last element and insert it into another list or blocks the client for specific time to execute any command. And it returns the value of element stored at the key or nil. Let's see an example brpop i'll push list 1 list 2 20 in this example this command will block the client for 20 seconds to execute any command if any data comes in the specified key list 1 then it will pop data and push it into another list otherwise after 20 second nil values return Next one is L index. Redis L index command is used to get the element at the index in the list stored at the key. The index is 0 based, so 0 means the first element, 1 the second element, and so on. Negative indices can be used to designate elements starting at the tail of the list. Here, minus 1 means the last element, 
and minus 2 means the penultimate and so forth. It returns the requested element or nil when the index is out of range. Let's see an example. First, insert different values in list 1. I'll push list 1. Hello. I'll push list 1. Bye. Now, with the help of index, let's fetch the values at the different index number. L index list 1, 0. So, at index 0, we have pi. L index list 1. And at index 1, we have hello. Now, L index list 4. Here is an error. We give the wrong command. Now let's check again. L index list 1, 4. Here you can see that we don't have any value at index 4, so it gives nil. Next one is L insert. Redis L insert command inserts the value in the list stored at the key either before or after the reference value prior. When the key does not exist, it is considered an empty list and no operation is performed. An error is returned when the key exists but does not hold a list value. It returns the length of the list after the insert operation or minus 1 when the value part was not found. Let's see an example. R push list 4 from So, we are pushing values to list 4. R push list 4 mark. And now, let's insert Peter before mark in list 4. I'll insert list 4 before mark. Peter. Now let's check the list. I'll range list 4 0 to minus 1. Here minus 1 index denotes the index at last position. Next one is ln. Redis ln command returns the length of the list stored at the key. If the key does not exist, it is interpreted as an empty list and 0 is returned. An error is returned when the value stored at the key is not a list. Let's check the length of the list 4. ln list 4. So the length of the list is 3. Next one is lpop. Redis lpop command removes and return the first element of the list stored at the key. It returns the value of the first element or nil when the key does not exist. Let's see an example. First, push values to a list. R push list 5. Hello. Again, R push list 5. Bye. Let's pop the value from the list using lpop. lpop list 5. So the value is hello. Next one is lpush. Redis lpush command inserts all the specified values at the head of the list stored at the key. If the key does not exist, it is created as an empty list before performing the push operations. When the key holds a value that is not a list, an error is returned. So, we already saw the work of lpush command. Let's move to another one. Next one is lrange. Redis lrange command returns the specified elements of the list stored at the key. The offsets, starts and stops are zero based indexes with zero being the first element of the list, the head of the list and one being the next element and so on. These offsets can also be negative numbers 
indicating offsets starting at the end of the list. For example, minus 1 is the last element of the list and minus 2 the penultimate and so on. So we already saw the work of LPUSH. Now let's move to another one. Next one is LSET. Redis LSET command sets the list element at the index to the value. Redis LSET command sets the list element at the index to the value. For more information on the index argument, see L index. And an error is returned for out of range indexes. Now let's see an example. First we are pushing values to a list. R push. List 6. Hello. R push. List 6. Hello. R push. List 6. Bye. R push list 6 again hello now we are using LSET to set value high to the given index value LSET List 6, 0, hi. Now check it by using LRange command. LRange, List 6, 0 to minus 1. Here you can see the result value high has been set. Value high has been set. Next one is L trim. Redis L trim command trims an existing list so that it contains only the specified range of elements. Both starts and stop are zero based indexes where zero is the first element of the list, the head, and one the next element and so on. Let's see an example. Let's insert some values to the list 7 r push list 7 hello r push list 7 Hello. R push list seven by R push list seven. Hi. Now let's apply L trim to trim the list with a specified range. L trim list seven one to minus one. Now let's check the list using L range command. L range list seven zero to minus one. Next one is 
rpop. Redis rpop command removes and returns the last element of the list stored at the key. It returns the value of the last element or nil when the key does not exist. Let's see an example. First, insert some values to the list 8. R push list 8 hello R push let's add list 8 R push List eight by R push list eight. Hi. Now let's remove the last element from the list using R pop. R pop list eight. Now let's check the list using L range. L range list eight zero to minus one. So you can see that the last element has been removed. Next one is R push. Redis R push command insert all the specified values at the tail of the list stored at the key. If the key does not exist, it is created as an empty list before performing the push operation. When the key holds a value that is not a list, an error is returned. It returns the length of the list after the push operation. So we already show R push command. Now, this was about list in Redis. This video is about sets in Redis. Redis sets are an unordered collection of unique strings. Unique means sets does not allow repetition of data in a key. In Redis set, add, remove and test for the existence of members in O1. That is constant time regardless of the number of elements contained inside the set. The maximum length of a list is 2 raised to the power 32 minus 1 elements, that is more than 4 billion of elements per set. Let's see an example. We have to open terminal and type radius hyphen CLI. So here we are going to insert three different values to the radius set named employees with the help of s add command. Redis s add command is used to add members to a set stored at the key. If the member already exists, then it is ignored. If the key does not exist, then a new set is created and the members are added into it. If the value stored at the key is not set, then an error is returned. So now, s add employees shown. I said employees mark. I said employees Peter. I said employees Peter. And now let's see all the members of the set using s members command. S members command is used to get all the members of the set. Now S members employees. You can see that duplicate values are taken as one. So there are three members here, not four. Let's see another command S card. Redis S card command is used to return the number of elements stored in a key. So, to check it, we need to run the command s card 
employees so you can see that we have three elements in the employee set next one is as diff redis as diff command returns the members of the set resulting from the difference between the first set and all successive set if the keys do not exist in redis then it is considered as an empty set let's see an example first of all we have to add two different set with some values as add set 1 black as add set 1 blue as add set 1 green so we have added three different values black blue and green to the set 1 now let's add another set set 2 as add set 2 black as add set 2 brown so we have added two values black and brown to set 2 Now let's see the difference between set one with respect to set two by running as diff command. As diff set one set two. You can see that black is common in both the sets. So the resulting set would be blue and green, which are left in set one. Let's check the as diff command on set two with respect to set one. As diff set 2 set 1 so the result is brown as it is not present in set 1 next one is as diff store redis as diff store command stores the members of the set resulting from the difference between the first set and all the successive sets into a set specified in the command if the destination already exist it is overwritten Let's check this on set one with respect to set two. As diff store set set one set two. So you can see the result is two. Let's check it with the help of as members command. As members set. Now let's check this on set two with respect to set one. As diff store set set two set one. So the result is one. Let's check it with the help of as members command again. As members set. Next one is. as enter redis as enter command gets the element of a set after intersection of all specified set keys that do not exist are considered to be an empty set with one of the keys being an empty set the resulting set is also empty that is since set intersection with an empty set always results in an empty set so let's run the command between set 1 and set 2 as enter set 1 set 2 so you can see that black is common among both the sets so the result is black next one is as enter store redis as enter store command stores the elements in a set after intersection of all specified sets keys that do not exist are considered to be empty sets with one of the keys being an empty set the resulting set is also empty that is since set intersection with an empty set always results in an empty set let's check this on set 1 and set 2 as enter store set set 1 set 2 so you can see that the value is 1 that is black next one is sis member redis sis member returns an element that already exist in the set stored at the key or not it returns one if the element is a member of the set and if the element is not a member of the set or if the key does not exist it will return zero 
let's check if the black is present in set 1 or not SIS member set 1 black yes it is available now let's check for brown SIS member set 1 brown so it is not present next one is S move. Redis S move command is used to move an element of a set from one key to another key. If the source set does not exist or does not contain the specified element, no operation is performed and zero is returned. Otherwise, the element is removed from the source set and added to the destination set. When the specified element already exists in the destination set, it is only removed from the source set. An error is returned if the source or destination does not hold a set value. Let's check an example. First, create a set and insert some values to it. As and set 3, John. As and set 3, Mark. As and set 3, Peter. So we have added three values John, Mark, and Peter in set three. Now I said set four Sam. Now we have added Sam in set four. Let's move Peter to four from set three. So as move set three set 4 Peter now let's check set 3 and set 4 using as members command as members set 3 you can see that set 3 has only mark not John because we set John in wrong set now check for set 4 as members set 4 and set 4 has Sam and Peter next one is as pop here is as pop command is used to remove and return a random member from the set stored at a specified key so let's run as pop command on set 1 as pop set 1 and now let's check the members in set 1 as members set 1 so you can see the result next one is srem redis srem command is used to remove the specified member from the set stored at the key if the member does not exist then the command returns 0 if the stored value at the key is not set then an error is returned Let's check the values of set 4 using as members command. As members set 4. Now let's remove a value from set 4 using srem command. srem set 4 Peter. Now let's check the set 4 values using as members command. As members set 4. So you can see the result. Peter has been removed. Next one is as union. Redis as union command is used to get the members of the set resulting from the union of all the given sets. Keys that do not exist are considered to be an empty set. Let's create two sets, set 5 and set 6 with different values in it. As add set 5 hello. As add set 5 bye. And now set 6. As add set 6 hi. As add Set 6 Hello. Now let's apply S union on set 5 and set 6. 
एस यूनियन सेट फाइव सेट सिक्स नाउ यू कैन सी द रिजल्ट नेक्स्ट वन इज एस यूनियन स्टोर रेडिस एस यूनियन स्टोर कमांड इज यूज टू स्टोर द मेंबर्स ऑफ द सेट रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम द यूनियन ऑफ ऑल द गिवन सेट कीज दैट डो नॉट एग्जिस्ट आर कंसिडर टू बी एन एम टी सेट लेट सी एन एग्जाम्पल लेट्स अप्लाई द कमांड ऑन सेट फाइव एंड सेट सिक्स एंड गिव द सेट अ नेम एज यूनियन सेट एस यूनियन स्टोर यूनियन सेट सेट फाइव सेट सिक्स एंड नाउ लेट्स चेक द मेंबर्स इन द यूनियन सेट यूजिंग एस मेंबर्स कमांड एस मेंबर्स यूनियन सेट हेयर यू कैन सी द रिजल्ट सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द सेट्स इन रेडिस दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट सॉर्टेड सेट्स इन रेडिस रेडिस सॉर्टेड सेट्स आर सिमिलर टू रेडिस सेट्स विद अ यूनिक फीचर ऑफ वैल्यूज स्टोर्ड इन अ सेट द डिफरेंस इज एवरी मेंबर ऑफ अ सॉर्टेड सेट इज एसोसिएटेड विद अ स्कोर दैट इज used in order to take the sorted sets ordered from the smallest to the greatest score in redis sorted sets add remove and test for the existence of members in o1 that is constant time regardless of the number of elements contained inside the set maximum length of a list is 2 raised to the power 32 minus 1 elements that is more than 4 billion of elements per set it returns the number of elements added to the sorted set not including elements already existing for which the score was updated let's see an example first we have to open terminal and type redis hyphen cli now z add employee 1 john z add employee to mark z add employee 3 peter z add employee 3 again z add employee 4 Nick. Now here we have inserted four values in Redis sorted set named employee using z add command. Redis z add command adds all the specified members with the specified scores to the sorted set stored at the key. It is possible to specify multiple score or member pairs. If a specified member is already a member of the sorted set. the score is updated and the element is reinserted at the right position to ensure correct ordering if the key does not exist a new sorted set with the specified members as sole members is created like if the sorted sets was empty if the key exists but does not hold a sorted sets an error is returned now let's see the members in the sorted set using z range command z range employee 0 to 10 so here we have used z range command to return the members of the sorted set from index number 0 to 10 redis z range command returns the specified range of elements in the sorted set stored at the key the elements are considered to be ordered from the lowest to the highest score lexicographical ordered is used for elements with an equal score Both start and stop are zero based indexes where zero is the first element and one is the next element and so on they can also be negative numbers indicating offsets from the end of the sorted set with minus 1 being the last element of the sorted set and minus 2 the penultimate element and so on now we can see the members with their scores as well we just need to add with scores at the end of the command set range employee 0 to 10 with the scores 
Now you can see all values with their scores. Next one is Z card. Redis Z card command returns the number of elements stored in a set at a specified key. So run the command Z card employee. So you can see the result. Next one is Z increment by. Redis Z increment by command increments the score of member in the sorted set stored at the key by increment. If the member does not exist in the sorted set, it is added with increment as its score, as if its previous score was 0.0. .0. If the key does not exist, a new sorted set with the specified member as its sole member is created. An error is returned when the key exists but does not hold a sorted set. Let's see the values in the employee set. Z range employee 0 to 10 with scores. Now let's use Z increment by on employee sorted set and increase the score of mark by 2. Z in CR by employee 2 mark. Let's check the score by checking the values now. Z range employee 0 to 10 with scores. So here mark have 4 score. Next one is Z range by score. Red is Z range by score command returns all the elements in the sorted sets at the key with a score between minimum and maximum, including elements with a score equal to minimum or maximum. The elements are considered to be ordered from low to high scores. The elements having the same score are returned in lexicographical order. This follows from the property of the sorted sets implementation in Redis and does not evolve further computation. Let's create a sorted set, my set one with different values and scores. Z my set 1 0 a 1 b 2 c 3 d 4 e and now let's add more values to it z and my set 1 5 f 6 g now let's apply z range by score command on my set 1 and fetch the elements with scores 3 and 4 Z range by score my set 1 3 to 4 so you can see the result next one is Z rank Redis Z rank command returns the rank of member in the sorted set stored at the key with the scores order from low to high the rank or index is zero based which means that the member with the lowest score has rank zero it returns the rank of member if member exists in the sorted set and if the member does not exist in the sorted set or the key does not exist, it returns nil. Let's see. Set rank my set 1 B. So the rank of B is 1. Z rank my set 1. P. So you can see it returns nil because P does not exist in the sorted set. Next one is Z count. That is Z count command returns the number of elements in the sorted set at the key with a score between minimum and maximum. Let's see Z count command on my set 1. Z count my set 1 0 to 3. So you can see the result that is 4 means we have 4 elements between 0 to 3. Next one is ZRAM. Redis ZRAM command removes the specified members from the sorted set stored at the key. Non-existing members are ignored. An error is returned when the key exists and does not hold a sorted set. Let's remove B from my set 1 using ZRAM command. ZRAM my set 1 B. Now let's check the sorted set using Z range command. Z range 
my set 1 0 to 10 here you can see that b is not present in the my set sorted set next one is set ram range by rank this command removes all elements in the sorted set stored at the key with the rank between start and stop both start and stop are zero based indexes with zero being the element with the lowest score these indexes can be negative numbers where they indicate offset starting at the elements with the highest score for example one is the element with the highest score and minus 2 the element with the second highest score and so forth so let's run the command up to three index value set ram range by rank my set 1 0 to 3 so it says that four elements has been removed now let's check the remaining elements using z range command z range my set 1 0 to minus 1 so you can see the remaining elements in the sorted set the remaining sorted sets we will see in the next video this video is about sorted sets in redis so now 10th one is z ram range by score redis z ram range by score command removes all the elements in the sorted set stored at the key with a score between minimum and maximum let's see an example first we create a sorted set my set 2 z add my set 2 1b 2c 3d and 4e now let's apply z ram range by score command on this and remove elements from 1 to 4 z ram range by score my set 2 1 to 4 so you can see the result next one is z rev range redis z rev range command returns the specified range of elements in the sorted set stored at the key the elements are considered to be ordered from the highest to the lowest score descending lexicographical order is used for elements with an equal score let's add a sorted set my set 3 z add my set 3 1 b 2 c 3 d and 4 e now let's apply z rev range command z rev range my set 3 0 to minus 1 so you can see that order has been reversed that is elements from highest to lowest score next one is z rev range by score Redis z rev range by score command returns all the elements in the sorted set at the key with a score between maximum and minimum including elements with score equal to maximum or minimum in contrary to the default ordering of sorted sets for this command the elements are considered to be ordered from high to low scores the elements having the same score are returned in a reverse lexicographical order let's apply the commands on sorted set my set 3 z rev range by score my set 3 2 to 1 so you can see the result we got the values in reverse order at index value 2 and 1 next one is z rev rank redis z rev rank command returns the rank of the member in the sorted set stored at the key with the scores ordered from high to low the rank or index is zero based which means that the member with the highest score has rank zero if the member exists in the sorted set it returns the rank of member and if the member does not exist in the sorted set or the key does not exist it returns nil so z rev rank my set 3 c so it gives rank in reverse order next one is z score redis z score command returns the score of the member in the sorted set at the key if the member does not exist in the sorted set or the key does not exist nil is returned now z score 
my set 3 C. So the score of C is 2. Next one is Z union store. Redis Z union store command calculates the union of number keys, sorted sets given by the specified keys and stored the result in the destination. It is mandatory to provide the number of input keys before passing the input keys and the other arguments. Let's create a sorted set, set 4 with two values and their scores. Z add set 4 1b 2c Another sorted set, set 5 Z add set 5 1 B 2 C 3 T Now let's apply Z union store to it Z union store union set to set 4 set 5 weights 2 to 3 now let's check the union set using z range command z range union set 0 to minus 1 so you can see the result this was about the sorted sets in credits